I'm Julian. I'm 11 years old. I often wonder if there's a life after death. Well, the first time I heard about Holy Grail, it was uh, one of those uh, sci-fi what ifs and, and can you imagine in, an, in, in a distant future everything was like this. Emballage eller affald, det er bare noget, der er nogen, der tager sig af. Man lægger det ned i sin spand, øh, og så forsvinder det jo ud af, af syne. Ikke? It's definitely critical that we can convince the, the whole industry, and we all need to do something. Så i Danmark har vi jo haft et pant- og retursystem for øl og sodavand siden 30'erne. Som forbruger går man ned i butikken og køber sig en øl eller en sodavand. Man betaler en pant, og når man så afleverer den igen, så, så får man sine penge igen. Det har en værdi. Men altså, vi har det jo ikke for alle mulige andre emballage. We have recycling goals that are quite ambitious, but in all honesty, incineration is where most of our household waste go. Why do they burn our future? Der er kommet et EU-direktiv, som sætter nogle krav til alle EU-lande om, at man skal sørge for, at de her emballage bliver samlet ind og genanvendt. Man indfører faktisk det, der hedder procentansvar, og det betyder jo, at det bliver producenternes ansvar at sørge for emballagen, også efter den egentlig har forladt fabrikken. We were not used to work together as uh, competing companies, but there was definitely a need uh, to collaborate. I organized a conference where I basically invited the key players. And in the afternoon, um, I even invited then someone uh, to talk about digital watermarks. And everyone was like, what is this guy bringing to the, to the stage? Because nobody understood what the potential benefit could have been. The Project Holy Grail is all about making packaging intelligent by use of a digital watermark. Um, it's basically to start modifying the artwork. And what you're doing is um, the high resolution file, you modify a little bit the pixels, right? So in essence, what we are doing is we are using the white ink here, and I put very small white dots in the green area, which are invisible to a consumer. A simple camera as the one on my iPhone would be able to, to scan it and give me a signal. And this is basically the principle on how we would like to implement it on sorting machines. You have all of your dirty packages on there. And the trick is now that you just have this add-on module with a series of high-speed cameras and LED light. Then they are basically hunting for these type of invisible codes. At the sorting facility, there will be a special scanner that can actually read the digital watermark and sort out this particular bottle together with plastic that also has that same chemical signature so that uh, shampoo bottles can become new shampoo bottles. So basically the idea is we already mined all the products and, and materials we need and now we would like to recycle them you know without harvesting new materials. So there's the energy, CO2 and, and resource question that is solved by recycling at high quality. At the moment we are working on a prototype machine that has been installed in Copenhagen to make these crucial tests for uh, how well does the packages that has been uh, enhanced with digital watermarks, how well do they perform? So the tests are going really well. Is that the food and non-food? Food, food yeah. and, and what is the ejection success for pet bottles? 95, 96%. I think that this could be the solution if everybody uh, pulls the same way. Det er en kæmpe opgave. Altså, den er slet ikke set før. Men hvis det kun er Danmark og San Marino, der synes, det er en god idé, altså, så, så er det oppe af bakke. Ikke? Men hvis, hvis Tyskland og Frankrig og Italien og øh, Holland og, og, og sådan noget siger, at det her er også noget, vi satser på, så, øh, jamen, så har det også større muligheder. Vi er getting ready to get it commercialized. Um, hopefully we are successful by mid-2022. But then it's really the time that the industry, the waste manufacturers, uh, brand owners, retailers, are gonna massively implement, invest. It's only by doing so that actually we, uh, we can make a drastic change. There's so many adults that need to agree on this, but they're usually not very good at that. 
I wonder if this time will be different. <laughs>